Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a song called Joy to the World by Life Church. Now, technically, the song is actually it's it's Joy parentheses to the world, but essentially it's a it's a rendition of that of that song. But anyways, hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas and a great December so far. Uh, this is video number three in the list of the five brand new worship songs for 2021. If you've not watched that video, if you're new to this channel, I did a video a couple weeks ago and even one last year where I just introduced five new worship songs or Christmas worship songs, present them to you and then give you the, the, the guitar tutorials for those songs. So if you haven't checked that video out, I'll link it up here in the corner. Check it out now. Check it out after this video. And then also uh, you'll find in the description box of that video, you'll see uh, the resources for the first two, two songs that we've done. I think one of them was Chris Tomlin and then the Jordan Smith one. So be sure to check those things out as well if you're, if you're interested. But yeah, this is song number three. And so let's go ahead and just dive into the guitar tutorial for this song. Before we do that, check the description box below. I've linked a chord chart that I'm actually referencing right here. So just a, a Google Doc, it'll be a PDF. Um, I think right now you're going to, if you have a Gmail, I think you have to have a Gmail and you have to, have to ask for permission to be able to access it and see it. I'm not sure a workaround for that quite yet. I'm still working on that. Um, I don't know that this is going to be the end all be all, but I'm just kind of testing the waters and uh, just trying to help you guys out a little bit more and, and resource you so that when you come to the video, um, I give you a chord chart, at least one that you can see other than just the chords here, but like one that we can actually follow together. So be sure to check that out in the description box below. It'll send me an email and I'll, I'll be able to give you permission to, to view that chart. The chart is a Nashville number system chart, so be mindful of that. It's not going to be chords, it's just going to be numbers. In this video, I will be showcasing the Nashville numbers and the corresponding chords below. So as we're going through it, you'll be able, you can mark on your iPad or you can print this off, print the chart off and you can write with a pen or a, p a pencil and uh, write the chords next to it if you would like. So how to play it on the acoustic guitar. This is a very straightforward and simple song. And because it is so simple, I've added a few little things in here that I've heard in the song to just share with you, just to kind of challenge you and, and teach you how to play something unique and fun and uh, something that just can kind of spice up that progression. It's in the key of C. It's only four chords. It's going to be A minor, D major, a four over five chord, which we're just going to play the five chord, and then the one chord, which is C. So we got six minor, two, four over five, and one. Now, typically, that two chord is a minor chord. Usually in a major scale, your two chord is minor. Uh, with it being a major chord, it kind of gives it this bluesy John Mayer, uh, honestly, Ben Rector. I don't know if you're familiar with that name. Uh, it kind of has this bluesy vibe to it. I really like it, really dig it. So instead of playing that typical D minor chord, we're gonna go to D major. And uh, it definitely spices up this progression. So our intro is going to be, voila, six minor, two major, four over five, and one. Uh, each of those chords are going to get a full bar, and what I mean by that is it's in the key, it's in this time signature of four four. So one, two, three, four. That's about the P BPM. Uh, so it would be a one, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just like that. Very simple. Very straightforward. Um, that four over five chord, I've, I've listened to the song several times now. It sounds like the bass is playing the um, uh, the the four chord. It sounds like they're playing that F chord. Um, I would honestly, I, I maybe I'm not hearing it right, uh, but it, 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 give it a listen and, and see. I, I think the like the acoustic guitar is playing the G there, and then the piano and bass they're staying on the. Uh, that that low note. If you've got a half chord like that, like a one over three, or now it's a four over five, usually the bass and keys play the bottom note. They play uh, the three in a one over three, or they'll play the five in a four over five. But I'm hearing in this song them playing the four. And so that leads me to believe that maybe we need to play the five. So in this song, uh, as we're going through here, you're gonna see me play a G chord. Discuss that with your team as you go to lead this song. If you feel like, hey, we're just all going to go to the four, we're all just going to go to the five, or bass and keys, you go to the four, I'll go to the five, or you go to the five, I'll go to the four. 
that's your call. So that's our intro progression. And you'll hear in the orchestration there at the end of that intro, uh, I, I believe they're playing, I believe they're going instead of to the one, you'll hear the, the, the low end, the bass, the piano, they're going to the one chord there. The orchestration, I think they're playing a four to a four minor. So F to F minor, just like that. You could play that if you wanted. I've had that, added that in the chart as an option. And so it would be like, Something like that, uh, trying to match that orchestration. I believe that's I believe that's what I was thinking there, but let's go ahead and dive into uh, verse number one. Verse number one, no changes. It's still the same progression, six to four over five, which again, we're kind of playing that G and then to our one chord. Um, I did notate in this chart and I've, I've, got, it, I've got it up here. Um, they do do, I believe this walk down uh, to get them into the chorus. They go from the one to like a one over seven chord. I threw that in this chart as well. That one over seven chord would just get one beat. And so it'd be one, two, three, four, just to kind of lift them up into the chorus or technically go down into the chorus because we're going from C to B to A. Um, and so that's gonna be the end of that first verse. And that will get us into our first chorus. Guys, it's, it's the same chords. Six minor, two major. G, C. After that, uh, that chorus, they're going to go back into a, a verse progression. This time it switches from a male uh, vocalist to a female vocalist. The male vocalist, I'll also say this, this is a, he's definitely a tenor and you'll, you'll, you'll hear it when we get to the bridge. It's ridiculous. Um, so it's, I would probably even recommend like, unless you got the chops to sing this one, just like the Jordan Smith version, maybe let a soprano, or, I mean, an alto take this song and then just let her just just stay there and let her her lead the song but it is a co-led song and it switches in verse two to a female leading it uh verse two is the exact same thing all the same chords and then with the addition you could throw in that that one over seven which is uh c over over b for us and then we're going to move into chorus number two chorus number two is the exact same thing as chorus number one uh so again a minor d g and c um, and again, playing that G, it sounds odd on its own, but when you play it with the rest, when you play it with the track, it sounds right. It sounds right to go to the G there. It almost sounds not right to go to the F. In the second half of that chorus, there is this chromatic walk up. Very simple. It's just two extra notes. I'm going to show you how to play that here. Um, it's on the, the and of one, the two, and the and of two. So one and two and. And it's important to count that to be able to, to lock in on that uh, that that beat if you want to do the the chromatic walk up so let me just get us to that section it's going to be six minor D G one a minor just that right there going into that that D major chord they do a little bum 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 little walk up there uh, and so it would be a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and all I'm doing is going from my A and then I'm playing C on the the A string C D sharp and then to my D chord. Now you could do it two ways. You could go uh, and just play those three notes just on the A string and then go to the G, uh, which some of the instrumentation kind of kind of does that. It's just, they just do that, that little choke and then, and then to the, the five chord. You could do it that way or you could play it with your pinky, which is what I do then go to the chord so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again just play it again and if you're when you're playing this song and you're like really into it like you'll you'll get a little bit more rhythm and vibe to it Whoop.
you, you'll even play the wrong notes too. But anyways, just something interesting to to throw into it because they do it. The rest of the band does that. Uh, it's just a small little chromatic uh, walk up, and I threw that in the chart as well. You'll see in chorus two, it'll say two major, and then in parentheses walk up, and so you'll know. Um, again, it's on the the it comes in on the and of one, so it's a bum bum bum. So one and two and three and four and one, just like that. All right, now moving along into our bridge. The bridge, there is a section here where there's no chords. It Most of the musicians cut out. There's just this organ that's like just going berserk, playing some crazy stuff. And uh, there's four bars of, of no chords. And it's basically that and then the vocals. And then the instrumentation will come back in and play the same progression. Six, two, four or five, or we're playing the G, so uh, five, and then one. Now, the the vocals here, this is where it, it gets tricky. This is where, if you're a tenor, have fun. Um, it, it does this this walk-up. It just does the, the walk-up of the, the scale for C. So the notes just follow that that progression. And there's a couple of repeats in there, but it starts... It starts on the C, so the one, joy, joy, and it does one, two, three, so C, D, E, and then it repeats the E, E, F, G, and then it repeats the G, G, A, and it skips our seven, which is B, and it goes to C, so again, that's uh, G, A, C, and then it does uh, it does the same thing that we did at the bottom, C, D, E, but up higher. Hopefully that makes sense. So it just walks up, up, up the scale there. And he starts really, really high. So norm naturally it would feel like joy, 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 joy to the world. That would feel like, that feels like, the the normal spot to to do that but this dude goes he does the octave up so instead of joy he starts joy and then joy 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 to the world i don't remember exactly what it is but it's way up there i i don't think i can That's super high, so like, it, it definitely hits that that break for most of us guys. Um, getting we we get we get up there. It's like joy, joy. <clears throat> so those that that F to G is where it, joy, joy. Like you're starting to go up into like your mix, and then up into your falsetto. to sing that sitting down <laughs> it's ridiculous anyway so that's that's that section there in that part um and then he just repeats that twice um and that's when the band comes back in six two four or five and then one and then they go into bridge number two uh, bridge number two lyrically is just a little bit different same chords uh, nothing's changed here they just repeat that progression twice um, and then from there, they go into chorus one. Um, they don't do that walk up that we were talking about other, a while ago. They don't do that here. Your band can do that. You guys can do whatever you want. And then from there, they go to their outro. The outro is just going to be that same progression. Very simple song progression wise. So, uh, you know, this might be a song that you don't really need a chart for because you just, it's the same four chords. All that you'll really need to remember is certain sections that might have a little bit of a flair to it or like that walk up or that one over seven, or if you want to do like a, a sharp five or something. Not sure where you would do that though.
probably wouldn't fit. But anyways, and that was kind of the strum pattern too. That's just a simple light strum pattern. I'd probably give it, give it a little bit more. I'd try to dig in just a little bit more. Especially on those verses. Just some dynamic accents. But yeah, just just something like that, and just try to lock in with your band as best as you can. And just have fun with it. It's very funky and bluesy and all those things. So that's how you play it on acoustic guitar. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below, or reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, again, it's very straightforward, very simple song. But let's go ahead and talk about it real quick and uh, wrap up this video. All right. So again, I gave this song kind of a bad rap in that five brand new Christmas songs, Christmas worship songs video. I didn't really give it a bad rap, more so just a bad rating in terms of its worship ability. Uh, singability and playability, I think those were like four out of five, just because of the difficulty and then, you know, expecting normal, regular people to sing it that might not be great singers. It, it might be a little difficult to sing in some sections. You might lose some people. You know, the reason it, it, that those aren't bad things, right? Like this song is still usable. It's still a great song. I would, I would do this song if I, if I could, um, just because of how much fun it would be to learn it and play it and just lock in with your band and just have fun. It's a fun song. It'd be a fun song to play. And I think the team, your team would probably enjoy being able to do that and be challenging too. There's a lot of things in here that would, would challenge your musicians. And that's important to do as well. Um, but just with all of that said, it, it just, it depends on what your vision is again and what your, your intentionality is for this song, what your intentions are for this song. If you want it to be a worship song, you want people to really sing it, you know, maybe don't do it as a, as a third or fourth song in your set, you know, uh, maybe it's a song up top, right? Or maybe this is a song for your Christmas production and you do it up top, or maybe you've got like your set list of like five or six songs and maybe you just had a really slow, you know, like somber, you know, spirit filled worship song and you want to like kick it into overdrive, like, like kind of switch the vibe sometimes um, get people clapping and engaged. This would be a song to do that. This is just a very uplifting and an encouraging song. Just a great rendition of that uh, timeless classic Christmas song. Uh, but I have one scripture that, that I want to share with you and I would encourage you go. It's about joy. So like go, just go Google scriptures about joy um, and just see whatever the Lord leads you to and what he's, he's speaking to you at that, at that moment of something that, to share. Uh, there was one that popped out to me, and that was Psalm 47, 1. And I'm going to bring it up here. It says, clap your hands, all of you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. So maybe you 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 do this song, and you say, hey, everyone, welcome to church. Welcome to, you know, this, whatever the name of your church is. We're going to get started with worship today. We're going to do a brand new Christmas song. The Bible says in Psalm 47, 1, to clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. If you are joyful this morning, if you've got something to be joyful about, I want to encourage you guys to sing aloud and clap. This is a song that you're probably going to want to clap to. Boom. And then you go into the song. That's all that I have for this song. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. I like this song a lot. And be sure to check out the chart below. All the other links in the description box too from my TikTok, Instagram, the video I've mentioned five different times in this video and all the tutorials for that. So, uh, And if you haven't subscribed already and you want to see more content just like this, I do tutorials just like this all the time and not just how to play guitar songs on guitar, but also how to lead them things that you can share ideas, scripture that you can share as well to be able to equip and exhort your church. Uh, that's really, really important and pastor them well in worship, point people to scripture, point people to Jesus. Um, that's the vision of this channel. And that, that's something that you're interested in being a part of and, I uh, would, would like to have that as a resource. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate you again. Be sure to hit the like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.